morning, guys. Let's see what is going on outside my window. Okay. Hey, finally. I am so happy. It is finally snowing. Um, yeah, it doesn't snow all that much in New York. And I know you guys that come from different areas like Canada and, you know, everywhere else. You know, it's like, this is nothing. And you're right, this is nothing. Um, but I love it when it snows. A lot. This is uh, my kitchen window, and it's my fire escape. Um, yeah, a lot of New Yorkers do not like it when it snows because you know with traffic and it gets messy out. But I love it. Um, it just makes the city quieter. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you this morning. And I actually have a popcorn machine in my kitchen. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool, right? My husband brought that home one day. I thought that is the cutest thing. I will, we love it. We're big movie buffs. And what am I? I'm almost running out. But I do have Duncan Turbo, and I'm drinking it in my Starbucks cup. Am I a trader? No, I just love both. Anyway, that's what I'm drinking this morning. All right, let's get started, and I'm going to show you what I am doing this morning. All right, I'll be back in two seconds. Bye. Hey, I am back. So today we are finally going to be um, working with the Montmartre. Okay, these are pouring acrylics, and um, I thought what was pretty cool what I saw on the bottle because these didn't come with instructions like um, you know you have to um, you know add a pouring medium, don't add a pouring medium like the pouring masters. It didn't come with anything, but what I thought was cool was this. Check this out. It has like uh, it says I can create. And you can follow them on social media. And what does it say here? Join uh, in the fun. Sign up for free art lessons. Awesome competitions. Endless inspiration. And plenty of other good stuff. So they have like a website. Where you know if you have any questions. Or just you know learn some stuff. So I thought that was very cool. Um, but before we do that. I just want to show you very quickly how these guys dried. Now, these colors did not get darker, uh, which is amazing. I love, 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 love that. They pretty much stayed the same. There was a little texture, and I believe it's from the silicone, I'm gonna guess. Uh, the next time I try these, I'm gonna do it without silicone and just see the difference. Um, I think that would be a good idea. But they're like these little like pinholes in here. You see them? Um, yeah, so I don't mind it at all. Like I said, I don't care about that. I think it, you know, I love this. It held the line. It didn't spread that much. Um, I didn't overdo it either, I believe, with the paint. Um, yeah, and the same thing on this one. It has like the little pinholes. And by the way, these canvases are from the Dollar Tree. I finally went back to them, but see the little pinholes there? And I believe that, like I said, is from the silicone. But what I like about this is that this paint has, for me, the best of both worlds. It has the vibrancy and pigmentation of Arteza. And it has the glossiness of the Artist Loft. Um, except Artist Loft is more glossy and um, it does it usually dries without any pinholes or anything like that so you know they all have their pros and cons but this one is really awesome so I'm gonna try it another day without um, silicone and see what happens and this one finally dried as well I'll bring you over here this one, I really love it. Um, and this one had a lot, not texture, like as far as like it messing up texture. But what I did was, this is the canvas board, and this is actually a pretty good one. Um, sorry about that. Uh, Transon, it's really um, durable, and it didn't warp or anything. I had enough, I had 
pretty a lot of paint on there I'll be honest with you what I love about this texture is like it has this like wavy effect it's really cool because I had the white paint here um, and I had taken uh, my little napkin uh, when I had did the reverse uh, dip on here and I just kind of dipped it around uh, to kind of fill up some of this white space because it was just too much white and I just want a little color in the white and I just love this it feels so nice um, I just love it it's finally dry uh, this is silicone in here too that's why it's a little shiny but I just I don't know there's something about it I just I love it I love it I don't know what there's something brewing inside me um, there's a reason why I got these um, uh, canvas panels um, I don't know what I'm doing but I feel like I'm gonna be doing like a whole series with canvas panels uh, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be doing with them yet but I just I don't know there's something like creatively brewing inside my head and I don't know what that is yet but you know I'll figure it out but I really really love that and then this one really quick uh, this is a little guy that I did last night it was the um, leftover paint from these two, as a matter of fact. So you see the yellows in here, a lot of the black is in there. There was a lot of black left. And again, you see the little pinholes again. And I torched it. I torched all of them. So, yeah. And again, this has the silicone in it, because uh, it was left over from that. But this is, you know, I love that. So that little like lacing and I don't know I thought that was really cool and it does um, it does dry very 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 glossy again I don't think as glossy as the artist loft but pretty close I would say pretty pretty close and the pigmentation is definitely there I mean look at those vibrant colors they really didn't dry any much darker I don't think they dry darker at all um, which is absolutely amazing. I love that. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let me get started of what we're doing today. Um, let's see. So let's get over here with the Mont Mart. So finally, we are dealing with these guys today. Um, you know, you heard me complain a little bit about uh, they were lost. You know, they were lost, or someone took it. I don't know. But anyway, they're back. Okay, they're back. Found them. They were delivered. Um, it was not Amazon's fault. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to, like, accuse anyone of anything, because I have no idea. Um, anyway, we have gold. Okay. And we're going to be using, what is this, the turquoise. And what is this called again? The beach. Oh, I forgot the name of this. Rats. Uh, does not, does it not say, uh, I'll go back to my other video and see it, but it's like the beachy, uh, series. It's like a little, they have like these little kits. Actually, right, so we got the turquoise, uh, we have ultramarine blue, and we have light blue, okay? So, I was thinking just to try them out for the first time. Uh, these are four ounce bottles or four point something ounce bottles. A um, hundred and twenty milliliters, four point oh five fluid ounces. Okay, and um, I just wanted—I don't want to do a flip cup. I'm kind of bored of that. Usually, I do flip cups uh, when I just try something for the first time. I am not going to be using the uh, medium, the Montmartre medium with it. I just want to try these by themselves, okay? Uh, I'm not going to be using any silicone, no water. I'm just going to pour them in little cups. Or maybe actually, I could just pour them right out of the bottle because it's supposed to be pouring acrylics, okay? So we're just going to pour them right out of the bottle. And I'm going to do... A little five by seven. Just I don't want to waste a lot of paint, so just to try stuff out. Um, and I'm going to be using the bottom of a uh, plastic bottle again. This is a, actually a water bottle, and this one's actually pretty sturdy. I like that. I needed a new one, so I'm going to be doing that today. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. All right. So I will be back in a sec, 
and we'll see what happens with this I, I have to say though the colors are very pretty um, so we're gonna be seeing what's going on with the Montmartre all right all right stay tuned <laughs>
Hey guys, I am back. So, this was the first time you using the Mont Mart. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, these colors are really beautiful. Um, I think it's called Beachscape or something like that. Um, maybe I should have went online first. Um, because these paints were a little thicker to use, as you saw. Uh, if, you know, if you noticed. Um, usually when I use... Whoops, and of course I dropped it. Uh, this guy here, the plastic um, bottom of the bottle, when you remove it off the canvas, usually the paint kind of fills in in the center. Um, that didn't happen because it was a little thick, you know? And I had to add some, um, which is fine. You know, actually, I like that. I'm adding the blue paint to the edges with my palette knife here, my little plastic palette knife. Um, that was cool too, and I was able, what I liked about it was I was able to kind of mess around with the paint a little bit after with the palette knife, just drag it around a bit, uh, which I usually don't do, but I actually like doing that, so the fact that it was a little thicker gave me a little more time to play with the paint, and a lot did not, um, run off, as you see underneath, a lot did not run off, just a couple of drips there. So I like it. Um, I think so far I like the Pouring Masters better, but I do like the Mont Mart. Um, and I guess I, what I, you know, what I meant was I should have looked at the directions like online. Is maybe it actually needs the pouring medium because um, it was a little thick. So hopefully it dries okay. Um, it looks pretty cool. I think I ran off enough, but these colors are very very pretty. I love this set, this, uh, the ultramarine, the gold, the turquoise, and the light blue. Very, very nice set. Um, they also have a set called Corals, um, and they also have acrylics and tubes, obviously. But I wanted to try out the ones that were specifically for pouring. Um, yeah, but I like these. I like the fact that it was a little thicker. Um, I didn't mind it at all. And so far... You know, the shape pretty much stayed. It didn't shift. This has been like 10 to 15 minutes after uh, into the drying process. So there was not, um, as far as I could see, any or much runoff at all. Um, there were some bubbles, but nothing insane. So that's great, too. So, so far, I like it. We'll see how it dries, like, fully. Um... I'll give it to 24 hours and we'll see. And then uh, what I'll do is I will try these with the pouring medium and see, um, you know, obviously it's going to be thinner, but, you know, see if it makes it better or worse. You know, sometimes these are just fine on their own. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to think of anything else about this paint. Oh, yes, and, um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Um, as you can see, there was absolutely no cell creation. You know, I mean, because if there's, if they're pouring acrylics, usually it's like a pre-mixed situation, and you get some cell creation, but, um, with the Artist Loft, there wasn't any... You know, the Artist Loft premix, there was no cell creation. Um, actually, with the Pouring Masters, again, you got a little bit of cell creation without adding anything. But most of these premix actually don't have cell creation. You have to add stuff to it. But, you know, then it, I guess, I don't know, in my head, if it's premixed, it has stuff in it already. There should be some kind of cell creation, but, you know, not everyone wants that. Okay, you don't have to have cells in every single painting. But that's my opinion for now. But um, anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these paints. I think they're very pretty. I think it's, uh, you know, it's a, I guess it's about $4 a bottle, which I guess is a good price. It's four-ounce bottles. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. 
um, about this brand, if it's more on the expensive side, if it's like in the middle. So yeah, let me know what you think. I think this is very pretty. And that is all for today, guys. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.